Husband changed very much after we married so I started digging and found out so much about him. I don't want to get a divorce only BC he's gonna be deported. It doesn't surprise me. It seems to me that he has been examined. Today marks three years of our marriage and six years of our union. Half of the day has gone by and he hasn't even recognized it. I bought us cupcakes, and on the way home, I'm going to stop for a card and some flowers. He's either going to appear astonished and apologize, return home empty-handed, or just ignore it and check his phone. Ever since we were married our bedroom has been dead. When was the last time he gave me a compliment without asking? Calling me attractive, seductive, or hot. Nonetheless, he may find photographs of bikini-clad Instagram models funny. I dressed up in lingerie two years ago. Although I felt gorgeous in it, I was insecure because I had gained some weight. When he saw me upstairs, he came downstairs to get dinner since he was hungry. After he finished eating, he just stayed upstairs with me for an hour. If I didn't insist that we have sex that night or ducking seek permission to have sex, we could go weeks without having any. He no longer initiates genuine affectionate touch with me. He will show our pets a lot of love, even in front of me. Yet it seems like he hardly tolerates touching me. He works absurd hours, and despite my request that he not take on a second job when his hours changed because lengthy workdays were affecting our intimacy and quality time together, he went out and obtained a new job. This past weekend was my birthday, so we went out. He was exhausted, having opted to go on a sunrise trek that morning and not sleeping for a full day, so he asked if I would be ready to drive us home after persuading me to have another drink. Without driving back. When was the last time he bought me flowers just because or for a special occasion? He used to kiss me goodbye or tuck me back into bed before leaving for work in the morning. He walks away silently now. Due to MFI's decision to utilize anabolic steroids for years, which rendered him almost sterile, we have been working with him over the past two years. He repeatedly told me falsehoods about using steroids. After going off them for a while, his counts are starting to rise. At this time, I am halting IVF. It wasn't until a year and a half into our relationship that he revealed to me his immigration status and prior marriage. He constantly complains about the same issues, and he ignores my ideas when I try to help. Frequently, when I say something, he will repeat it back to me as though he said it himself. This is particularly the case with his unresolved medical difficulties. We're attending couples therapy. In March, I issued it as an ultimatum in response to his threat to file for divorce from me for the second time since our marriage. I gave him the task of tracking down the counselors and locating suppliers. After doing so, he never made any reservations. When I confronted him about it three weeks ago, he finally admitted, honestly, I haven't even thought about that. I adore the jokes as well. He might say something to anger or hurt my feelings, for instance, and then respond, relax babe, I was joking. He was formerly a considerate gift giver. He was a loving man once. He used to give me a starry-eyed look when he saw me. I've pleaded for increased closeness, tenderness, contact and sex. He doesn't even want to have sex with me, and I feel like I'm forcing it on him right now. To get me off his back, he simply does it with me. I handle all of the money matters, 90% of the housework, and all of our pet's veterinary care. When I recently informed him that I wanted him to take on more responsibility, he responded, I just need to tell him, he'll do stuff. I do things that I see need to be done, I said to him. I'm not less stressed out by having to tell you what to do. For one day, he took the lead. My state of mind is a complete mess. I consider myself to be a fat, useless piece of shit. I'm not. I'm curvaceous and a touch overweight, but I also work out frequently. My anxiety and despair have gotten worse to the point where they are interfering with my daily activities. I apologize for this mess. I'm simply over this whole thing. I'm starting to realize how insignificant I am. I believe I've finally had enough. I'm through taking the lead, nurturing him, controlling him, and mothering him. Update. Our three-year anniversary was celebrated with a heated argument yesterday. I challenged him regarding his social media usage today. After three years in a dead bedroom, I virtually have to force affection out of him. For the past two years of our marriage, he has taken a fancy to half-naked, lustful pictures of women. These are women who post images of themselves hanging around with their asses, have enormous tits, and are incredibly fit. In the past, he has also misled me about matters like his use of anabolic steroids and his marital status. When I brought up the topic of the steroids with him twice, he flatly denied it. I didn't realize I was right until much later. He declined when I asked him today to show me who he is texting on social media. He once described me as insane. He said, we're over if I can't trust him. I expressed my lack of faith in him. He flatly refused to give me access to his phone. I informed him that it indicates he has something to conceal if he chooses not to show me. All he tried to say was that he loved the images by accident and that the only thing he liked were the ones taken by an OnlyFans creator. 
In addition, he made the claim that he had never before demanded to view my phone and that other girls had made him do it, which had ruined their relationships. I said that I've never given him any cause to doubt my allegiance, which is why he has never asked to view what's on my phone. He simply departed with an overnight bag and his wallet. I have no idea where he's going, and I couldn't care less. He stepped in the door glad to see me, so I felt terrible confronting him, but I'm so damn exhausted. I know I can't trust anything I find on his phone since he probably deleted it, even if he showed it to me when he got home. Additional information from OOP. He returned home. It became the worst argument of our marriage. Basically, he stated that he wants a divorce. He went straight back to his go-to defense. I'm the ducking worst. I can never do anything right. He claims that I'm always right and he's always in error. When I brought up his years of emotional abuse and wallflowering, he became enraged. He told me to stop talking. I said, duck you. I gave Adora a forceful slam. That wasn't okay, I acknowledge. I needed help, he cried, like psychological help. He's in the living room and I'm in the bedroom right now. My life is something I detest. Relevant comments. Commentator. Remain steadfast. A marriage isn't three years of no intimacy. It seems that he married you for more pragmatic reasons. OOP, I understand that since we stopped the steroids, he has struggled with low T, but it doesn't mean we can't still show affection in other ways. However, I have to beg for genuine affection of any kind, including sex. We can skip days or even weeks at a time. Yes. You are still able to cuddle, kiss, touch, and engage in other non-sexual interactions even with low T. Yes, it affects sex, but for years I've begged for other forms of connection and been turned down. Furthermore, he hasn't followed up to investigate his possible low T problems when his libido didn't return after he stopped taking steroids. He is deceiving me. Update 2. In the end, we decided to take the weekend trip together. We had a great time on our lengthy hike. Together, we clicked pictures. We returned home. I feel broken and hollow. At the house now, he keeps his phone face down. He claimed he would share a picture of us from our trip on Instagram when I asked him if he could. Nothing after two days, despite the fact that he has been regularly browsing Instagram. Without even looking at me, he responded with a I will, babe when I asked him last night. Although I haven't been visible on his Instagram in five years, he still has me all over Facebook. I called him out on one of the girls for like and following her hot pictures, and she abruptly made her social media accounts private. She has more than 20,000 followers and is also following my spouse. Her posts indicate that she resides in multiple states. I am so pitiful. I'm desperate to rekindle the love and trust that characterized our early relationship and marriage because I adore him. This is all I can think about every day, and I feel like I am going completely insane. Last night, I had bad dreams about him leaving me for that girl. Even while he occasionally expresses real affection, like the day he was eager to hold my hand as I entered the store and the day he looked after me when I was sick, I can't shake the feeling that something is off. And yet here I remain. I wish he had the need to smother me with his hands. That he was unable to resist touching me. That he continued to send me uninvited flowers. That he enthusiastically remarked on my beauty in the Snapchat pictures I sent him. That he dashes to the bedroom after seeing my seductive pictures that I send him. They either show me a lackluster response or ignore me entirely. In addition, I am his immigration sponsor. We got married for sincere reasons after having a sincere dating relationship. If I'm the cause of his deportation, I feel bad. I feel like he doesn't care that much despite my best efforts to make this work. When he threatened to divorce me again in March, I didn't walk away, and he didn't care that I insisted on couples counseling or I was leaving. He was unconcerned for months. He has no desire to tag me on social media. I only want to starve myself to the point where I resemble those slender girls he likes on social media. Make over my face to resemble theirs. Finish my boobs the way they are. Turn off my feelings and stop experiencing anything. Realize the ducking truth so that I can stop literally driving myself insane. He seems to have lost interest in me and my needs a long time ago so I'm not sure why we're still together if he doesn't want to make an attempt. I'm sure you're all going to think I'm pathetic and be upset with me. I have the same attitude about myself. Update 3. I received a lot of flack for my earlier post today. I took a step back from my initial post. Took a trip together over the weekend. Realized that nothing had altered since. I also mentioned that I am presently his immigration sponsor and that we are in the process of processing his waiver. That post also had a lot of self-pitying nonsense from me. I wish I was as attractive as those Instagram models, then maybe he would be interested in me. I was actually on the verge of a panic attack for the whole of today. I had to remove my earlier update because I was unable to keep up with all of the comments, especially the ones that came in so fast. I was not in a good position mentally. Thank you so much to everyone who told me, girl, what the duck are you doing? and for their kindness and support. Although I felt weak for removing the post, 
I was grateful for the prompt assistance and guidance that I received. I had a strong feeling this afternoon that I should look him up on Google. I discovered that he was the target of a lawsuit filed earlier this year when a debt went into collections. It was a substantial sum. When I questioned him about it, the whole thing became a farce. In order to access and print all of the documents, I created an account on a filthy legal website. He attempted to explain that he hadn't told me because he didn't want to worry me. You all should know that he hired a ducking lawyer behind my back and acknowledged taking a second job to pay off the debt and keep it a secret from me. I was on the verge of going insane. I feel like I developed a little backbone today. He attempted to defend himself, but I cut him off. He corrected me when I asserted that he had lied to me, saying that in reality he had not lied but had simply withheld information from me. He threatened suicide, but I didn't take it seriously. I questioned him if I should take him seriously this time when he told me he was done and threatened divorce once more, and he instructed me to do what I wanted. He became irate when I challenged him about the Instagram nonsense once more. When I questioned him last week, I pointed out that one of the models he is following abruptly made her account private. Emphasized once more how low T doesn't cause someone to ignore his wife and simply like photographs that make him appear thirsty. Mentioned how much he liked their ass pictures while ignoring the sultry ones I sent him. I told him that I initiated every single ducking time we had sex this year, and I could count on one hand how many times we've had sex. Too much for him to bear, he rode off on his bike with an overnight bag. Screw it. For whatever reason, he just drove back, and I heard the stupid bike roaring in the parking lot. He likes to check our ring camera, so perhaps I should go back outside and turn it off again. He simply took off once more in his car. I tried contacting a friend to discuss this with them. I need to stop carrying this burden alone and finally be honest with someone about it all. In March, my grandmother passed away as I was holding her hand. I hope that somewhere in me, there's a tiny bit of her strength, and that when she went she left some of her strength behind. She had a lovely life after escaping an abusive marriage. God please grant me the fortitude to persevere. The last time I gave in, and I don't want to do it again. I'm so deserving of better than this. Please allow me to grow a larger spine in addition to the one I grew today. Extra details from OOP. OOP. Last night, I also began working through my codependent No More workbook, which I haven't opened in six years. This weekend, I'm going to pull out Why Does He Do That, and complete the next chapter. My therapist has been an amazing mentor to me during this entire process. She and I have a regular appointment and I'm excited to have her help next week. Relevant comments. OP. This morning, I made a consultation request after contacting a law company. This is so uncomfortable right now because the adrenaline from the battle last night has worn off. OP advises taking care of oneself first in response to several Redditors. OP. My priority right now is taking care of myself. I think I'm just going to spend the day in bed. This is really getting to me now, and I'm just ducking depressed. Like I did something wrong, he's avoiding me this morning. I believe I'm beginning to understand him. And I know that once this hits home for him and he settles down, in a day or two, he will be pleading for forgiveness. I wonder if he'll ever muster the will to pursue couples counseling and make the effort to show me any affection. This is challenging. I'm beginning to see how much my relationship with the emotionally abusive person damaged me. I can already sense my desire to falter. And I tell myself that I know exactly what will happen next. He will tell me that I'm right and that he wants to change but he will revert back within the next day or two, behave better for a few weeks, and then resume his previous behavior. We have this same conversation every two to three months and nothing really changes, I'm realizing.